What's up boys and girls, it's Wednesday the 30th of January, I'm your host Thomas Adams and this is the Game Zone News Recap. Up first we have news about Trion World's insanely ambitious game called Defiance. They have now announced that it will be launching globally on April 2nd across all platforms. For those of you who don't know what this game is, well imagine a video game that is also a TV show at the same time. So imagine that some of the choices players make throughout the video game will also affect the TV show and vice versa. Overall this game will be breaking completely new ground and I cannot wait to see how it goes. The Lord of the Rings MOBA game titled Guardians of Middle Earth have released a brand new champion called Radagask. Now I have no idea how to pronounce this so please don't hate me too much. His class is an enchanter and his abilities are a mix of bonus attack speed and huge amounts of CC which means he could be a very valuable asset to your team. He is already available in the 360 edition and can be picked up for 160 Microsoft points or for free if you already have the season pass. The MMORPG Terra will be coming free to play on February 5th meaning if you have been short on cash or if you're not sure whether this game is worth the investment you can now play it for absolutely free. Now it will be coming in three different tiers. Standard means that you have access to all in-game content without restrictions for two characters per server and of course there will be an in-game store for cosmetic items. Founder means that you have an additional character slots, bank tabs and a special mount. Now the best way to grab this founder version is to get a retail copy of the game while it still lasts. Now elite status is a subscription base so you pay every 30 days which will include all of the previous bonuses as well as more rewards such as dungeons will give you more stuff, there will be better rewards in them, more daily quests, a daily delivery system of items, special mounts and store discounts. Additionally Terra will be getting some brand new content when it hits free to play. Up next is for those of you who love to save money. Square Enix ended their Steam sale a little while ago but don't worry because they are still having a sale which is 75% off for certain titles on their website which means you can grab lots of the classics as well as some new releases really cheap. Now this sale will end on February 6th so if you want to grab something grab it while it's still there. Now with all the news about microtransactions and Dead Space 3 it's finally nice to hear some good news because EA have detailed some of the new game modes available within this game. Firstly you have the new game plus mode which lets you keep all of your gear from the previous playthrough. Up next you have classic mode which will not have any co-op and the same aiming system in Dead Space 1 and you will have zero crafting which means all items and weapons will come from blueprints. Pure survival mode will have no ammo, health or weapon part drops and the enemies will only drop resources meaning you will need to scrounge and scavenge everything and it will only be made from the workbench. Now hardcore mode is guess what? One life and when you die it's game over, it deletes your save, I don't know what it does but you will not be able to play on that save anymore. So overall it's nice to see these game modes because it really makes the game a lot more fun, a lot more deep and it encourages you to play the game a lot more instead of just playing through it like oh start game, end game, not playing, now you can go start game, end game on loads of different ways but it's still a shame about the news about the PC release. Remember that you can check out the latest news on Guess Where guys, that's right, www.gamezone.com. I've been your host Thomas Adams and this has been the News Recap.